Hey guys, welcome back to Notorious Crafts. In this video, I will show you how I make this miniature castle from a kit. It is 144th scale, so it is really small. So it is the perfect size to put inside your 12th scale dollhouse or for a Barbie home. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any new videos that I post. I bought this kit on eBay and I will put a link to the exact listing that I bought it from. The seller is in China so it took a few weeks for this set to come in and this is just how it arrived in this clear packaging and it does not come with any instructions. So I will be referencing the photo constantly just to make sure I am putting it together correctly. All of the pieces are made from wood and they are also pre-painted, which I really like so that it saves me a little bit of time so that I do not need to paint them myself. The first thing that I do is organize all of the pieces. So I'm gonna organize all of them by color so that the pieces are easy to find. And also they are very small, so you wanna make sure you have a clear workspace so you do not lose any of the pieces. Okay, so I have all of the pieces organized now by color and also by type. And I'll be referencing this photo constantly just to make sure that I am making this set correctly since I do not have instructions. And the first piece that I will be grabbing is this round piece. It's going to be the base. I'm not sure what the holes on the bottom are for. Maybe they're supposed to be like guides to match up the pieces. And then I'm going to start putting together the walls of the first floor. So I grab this really long red piece and then the two side pieces. And I'm just going to use some wood glue to glue them together. But actually before I glue the walls together, I'm going to glue the window trim on since every window has these little tiny pieces of trim. I keep my wood glue on a scrap piece of thick construction paper on the side and I'm going to be applying the glue using a toothpick since these are some really small pieces and a toothpick has a really fine point that I can apply the glue in small amounts. Also just a tip before you start applying any glue you want to make sure that the windows fit inside of the window holes. I've made a kits where I applied glue to the window and then it ended up being too big so I ended up having to file it down. If you end up having a little bit of glue spilling over on the side you want to remove that right away before it dries. This glue does dry clear but it ends up being a little bit glossy and in some angles of the light you will be able to see it. Working in such a small scale, I found that these really thin craft tweezers are very helpful for those really small detail areas where my fingers just might be slightly too big. And I'll also put a link down below to this tweezer set that I use. I waited about 10 or 15 minutes just for the window trim to dry after I glued them on so they wouldn't slide off once I attached the wall to the base. One thing that is nice about this wood glue and working in small pieces is that once I hold it down for a few seconds, it ends up staying in place without falling over. So I can move on to the next piece very quickly. I added glue to all of the points that will be touching each other. So all of the walls as well as glue to the bottom of the piece that is going to attach to the base. Then I added the window trim to all of the remaining pieces so that I can work on other sections while these dry and by the time I'm done with the next sections I will be able to use these right away. And for the next step I glued on these arch windows to the very front of the castle. And they create a very nice detail in the front. It reminds me a little bit of those arched walkways in castles, but it does look very small um, right next to the window. So I'm not sure if it is supposed to be an arch walkway, but regardless, it's still a really nice detail. And then I glued on the base of the second floor and notice the hole in the middle, that's where the stairs are gonna go. 
For the next step, I will start gluing together the second floor walls. I actually recommend gluing this on top of the actual house. I glued them separately on my mat, but I then found some of the pieces did not fit perfectly on top afterwards. And when gluing down the roof, you're going to want to hold it down for a little bit since when I applied it, it started sliding down since the glue had not set yet. So hold it down for just a few seconds while the glue sets. I ended up not gluing this back part of the roof since I also want to make some furniture to add inside of this castle and once I add this roof it creates a much more tighter space so I'm not sure if I will end up adding it later on after I make some furniture in another video. I glued down the castle to the base and then also added this front trim. Then I glued down the second and third floors to the first floor of the castle and if you look on the left side you'll see a little bit of a gap which is why I recommend gluing these pieces directly on the castle and not separately like I did. Next I am going to make the castle tower using these really thin red pieces. Now one thing that I notice is that when I try to attach the corners they kind of have a little bit of a gap so I'm just going to grab some sandpaper and file down the sharp corners. You do not have to do that. Um, I just ended up doing that so the pieces ended up fitting just a little bit better together. I use this half hexagon as a guide of how the pieces should be glued together. I ended up not gluing the pieces to the actual hexagon since it kind of creates a hole in the floor. So I'm not sure where this actual bottom piece is supposed to go. I glued on the rest of the trim to the front and then I glued on the base of where the tower is going to go. Once the base set, I glued on the tower as well as the roof. I also attached this really small trim to the very top of the roof and then let it dry. The picture that I'm referencing shows these little top pieces are supposed to go as top trim of these windows, but I just think it looks very clunky, so I'm not going to attach them. I let the glue dry for a few hours. Now one thing that I would have done differently is I would have not added the window trim in between the tower and then the walls. It kind of creates this gap that I personally do not like. So if you do end up buying this set, you might want to consider not adding in this window trim. It's a little strange that they have windows facing a wall. It doesn't let any light in. So I'm not sure why they have it that way. I am also going to wait to glue in the stairs until after I have made all of the furniture. The stairs take up a lot of space, so I'm just going to wait and see how my furniture all fits before I add in the stairs. I might not even glue them in at all. I'll see once the furniture is made just because this castle is so small and all of the rooms are such tight areas. I will be making all of the furniture from scratch, so I will have that coming up in my next video, which is why you also want to subscribe so you do not miss out on those videos of me making all of the furniture. And one small complaint I have about this kit is that some of the paint was scratched off right here, so I might end up repainting that myself because that is something that bothers me. I still have to make this winding staircase that's supposed to go in the front. I am considering making like a small little garden in the front, so I'm just going to wait until after I decide what to do next. I did end up having some leftover pieces that I did not use. I think this piece is supposed to go in front of the door, but I just did not have any room for it since it is such a small area. Let me know what you guys thought of this build down below in the comments and also what are some of your ideas of furniture I should make for each of the rooms? I was thinking about the bottom floor of having like a really long dining room table and some chairs um, just so it's like a really big feast and then maybe the top floor is being bedrooms. But let me know your ideas. I can't wait to read them 
And thank you so much for watching and see you guys in my next video.